Hi, my name is Kelly Jones, and I'm a teacher consultant with the Arizona Geographic Alliance. In this lesson, we will be looking at winning isn't everything, putting sports in sportsmanship. This is a lesson for grade three and should take approximately four class periods. An overview of this lesson is that sports are more than just fun recreational activities. They've helped to shape the landscape and culture of America. Learning the basic concepts and important people of both baseball and football will help to see how people from varied backgrounds come together for these common American traditions. The purpose of this lesson specifically is to learn about sportsmanship, participation, cooperation, rules and consequences, and also the traits of character while exploring some of America's favorite pastimes and how they've impacted human and physical features of the land. Materials you'll need for this lesson, um, the student worksheets are all included. Um, winning isn't everything, putting the sports in sportsmanship, playing play ball, baseball fact sheet, a baseball diamond map, what was here before the baseball diamond map, rules and consequences uh, baseball fact sheet, rules and consequences playbook template, a baseball hero Jackie Robinson story and worksheet, touchdown football fact sheet, football field map, what was here before the football field map, rules and consequences of football fact sheet, rules and consequences playbook template for football, um, football hero Pat Tillman story and worksheet. And then there's also included a share and compare graphic organizer. You'll also need blank note cards, at least one per student, and the note cards with the words baseball and football written on them. So you're gonna need one of these note cards per student and you want them split pretty evenly. So about half the class will have a note card for baseball and about half the class will have a note card that says football and then dictionaries to help them with the vocabulary. Objectives of this lesson, the student will be able to identify how sportsmanship and other character traits relate to sports, describe the basic rules and consequences of two U.S. sports, looking specifically at baseball and football, examining the people who have made a significant impact on each of the two major U.S. sports, and expressing how sports have impacted the culture and landscape of the United States. So in session one, you're gonna start out by writing the word sportsmanship on the board. You're going to give each student a note card and ask them to write down what they think sportsmanship is. Once they've done that, you're gonna hand out the winning isn't everything sportsmanship worksheet to the students. Call on students to read through the paragraph and as they're reading, you wanna write the characters the character traits on the board and this these can all be found in sentence three. So for example, honesty, courage, cooperation, respect, trustworthiness, responsibility, fairness, and citizenship. So as students are reading through that part of the paragraph, you're going to be writing those words on the board. Then um, you're going to make sure you go over the directions with the students and call on students to read each sports scenario. So each one will read numbers one through eight on the worksheet. You're gonna pause after each one and give students time to choose which character trait they think best matches that scenario. Continuing on in session one, um, once students have matched up all eight scenarios to the character trait that they think matches with that, you're going to read each character trait out loud and then take some kind of a poll to see which trait students have chosen. Then obviously you want to make sure that you go over the correct answers with students so that they have the correct character trait matched to the correct scenario. At the end of the day, the final assessment, you want to have students flip over their note, note cards from the beginning of class and write a new description of what they think sportsmanship is. So after having gone over all the the, the entire lesson. So an example is here on the screen. So before students might have written something like sportsmanship is being a good sport and after sportsmanship is showing good characters such as fairness, respect, and cooperation. So they just have a little bit more in-depth knowledge or in-depth understanding of what sportsmanship is. In session two, students are going to begin to actually look at two of the major sports in the U.S., baseball and football. So as students walk in the door, you want to hand them, hand each one of them a note card, and these can be handed out randomly. It's either going to say football or baseball, again, so that about half the class has a baseball card and about half the class has a football card. 
Once all students have arrived, you're going to want to either on the overhead or on the front board, write the words baseball and football, and then draw a line down the middle. Now each student with a baseball card, you're gonna call up either one at a time or have them line up and write one word that they think, or that they can think of, that relates to baseball. And everyone who has a football card, go up on the other side and write a word that relates to football. Now make sure that they're not repeating words, so you know they have to come up with something new. So for example, for baseball, you might get words like ball, bat, bases, hot dog, stadium, anything that, that makes them think of baseball, maybe their favorite team. Um, once, the, once all these words have been written down, um, explain that these words express how these sports have made an impact on the American culture and how these sports have become part of tradition for many diverse groups of people living in the U.S. Um, tell students that they'll be learning more about these sports and that they've also made an impact on the American landscape. So for session two, um, students are going to continue um, learning about the sport in which the card they were given. So all the baseball students um, will be getting the baseball worksheets and all the football students will be getting the football worksheets. So the first thing you're gonna do is hand out the baseball fact sheets to all the students with a baseball card and the football fact sheets to all the students with a football note card. And what you're going to do is have students, once they get those, circle or highlight any words that match the words that are on, that are on the board. So for example, in baseball, someone might have written pitcher. Well, that's listed under players. So any words that are on the board that match the worksheet, um, you're gonna wanna have them highlight or circle. Next, you're gonna wanna put students in small groups. And the reasons why small groups is best for this is because students might have different background knowledge of these sports. For example, whether or not they have family members who watch these sports, participate in these sports. Um, students will have different levels of understanding of how these sports work. Some of them might play t-ball, um, for example, and have more knowledge of baseball. So putting students in small groups will give a larger collective knowledge of these sports and make it a little easier for them to complete the next set of activities. So next, once you have students in small groups, again, maybe four baseball students and four football students, or in groups of about three to four, um, once they're in small groups, you're gonna actually pass out maps. So all the baseball groups will get maps of a baseball diamond, and all the football students will get maps of a football field. Then they will take the places that um, are listed on the fact sheet and label those onto a onto their maps. So for example, in baseball, they're gonna be labeling first base, second base, third base, home plate, the pitcher's plate, um, the team dugouts, the outfield wall, um, those sorts of things. And the, stu the football students will list the places that are identified on a football field onto their map. And again, this is where working in small groups and having that larger collective knowledge might help in being able to identify all of those features. Once the group has completed that map, you're going to hand each student um, a blank map of what was here before the field. So again, what was here before the baseball field to the baseball students, what was here before the football field to the football students. And you're gonna to explain to them um, that this baseball field wasn't always here. And you might reference a local, you know, perhaps a school field, um, so the students can um, think about it. So you're gonna to explain to them that that field wasn't always there. How did that field get there? What was there before the field? And you want students to, you know, maybe talk about some of the physical features that are still left natural in the area you're living. So I have a student sample here. Um, this was what was here before the baseball diamond. And this is a student from Northern Arizona. And she just drew a field full of trees. So before the baseball diamond was put there by humans, it could have been a field full of trees. And of course those, field, you know, those trees were taken down and the, the field was laid out. So again, have students think about what was there before the field was laid down by humans. For your final assessment, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the um, board. The, you wanna have students on the back of their baseball or football note card um, ask students to write one way their sport changed the human elements and one way their sport changed the physical elements of America. So on the back of their baseball or football card that was given to them. 
Okay, in session three, you're gonna be looking at the rules and consequences of both of these sports. So again, to all the students who have the baseball card, you're gonna give them a baseball, a rules and consequences of baseball sheet. And all the students who have a football card, you will give them a rules and consequences of football fact sheet. Students will then again um, read over these rules and create a playbook, sort of a visual of what the rules and consequences are. So that way you can make sure that they are actually understanding some of the rules and consequences of that sport. Now it might be a good idea for you to have a student sample available or maybe to have one created yourself so that students have, you know, sort of something to go off of so that they can see what you're wanting them to provide or pr produce. So I have an example here of a rules and consequences of baseball playbook. And so what the student um, has done is um, they read through the procedures of baseball and for each number they drew a picture that represented that so that their playbook actually tells a story of the sport they're studying. So for example in number one you can see that the students sort of separated that there are two teams of nine players. In number two, you can see that one team is in the outfield and one team is up to bat. In number three, um, the student has drawn a player who has hit the ball over the outfield wall getting a home run. It looks like in number four, we have um, someone who's, who hit the ball and then uh, you know a defensive player trying to catch the ball to make an out. In number five, we have a player who is running the bases in order. So first base, second base, third base, and then making a home run by touching home plate. And in number six, this is actually where they're going to draw um, one of the consequences if they break the rules. And in number six, this student has shown um, someone who has hit the ball outside of the foul line. So that means that you know, that ball doesn't count. They have to re-pitch or re-hit the ball. So again, having a student sample or maybe a sample of your own to show the students um, an idea of what you're expecting. At the end of session three, you're going to want to get the students together and have them compare their rules and consequences. So at this, t at this time, you want to team up or pair up um, one football student and one baseball student so that the baseball students can hear the rules of football and the football student can hear the rules and consequences of baseball. So basically they're going to take the rules and consequences sheet and their playbook that they've drawn out and they're just going to have a conversation about what did you learn about football, what did you learn about baseball. And they're going to use this graphic organizer to say what's, you know, what rules or, you know, what consequences do they have in common and which ones are unique to those sports alone. At the end of class, um, you might have an overhead uh, transparency of the share and compare graphic organizer and then help the students to fill in different things. So call in groups because one pair might have gotten things that others hadn't. In session four, we're going to be looking at the actual baseball and football heroes. So this is a little bit of reading and learning about the people who have impacted the sport, those two sports. So for all the baseball students, you're going to give them a reading selection about Jackie Robinson and also an accompanying worksheet. Part of that worksheet is to identify five words that are unfamiliar to them. So that might be words like discrimination or racism um, as related to the story. They will then identify what those words mean so they have a better understanding of what Jackie Robinson's role um, and in impact on baseball was. For, for your students who have the football card, they will be learning more about Pat Tillman, who is actually um, an Arizona Cardinals player who after 9-11 left the team to go fight um, for his country and never returned. And so they'll be learning more about him and about how um, his character traits um, from sports actually helped him in becoming a great citizen and impacted the sport of football. So again, also picking out five words that might be unfamiliar to them and then talking about the character traits um, of Pat Tillman and Jackie Robinson um, that make them impact, that help to impact the sports that they played. At the end, 
Um, you will have the baseball students explain who Jackie Robinson was. So you might just have one representative from the baseball group um, just sort of stand up and explain who Jackie Robinson was, maybe one uh, good cha good character trait, and then how he impacted or how he impacted baseball or how he was significant to that sport. And then do the same with the football. So call on one football student and talk about who Pat Tillman was and how he impacted his sport and what you know qualities of good character he portrayed. Again, you want both students or you want the entire class to be able to be exposed to both people. So um, that's one way to be able to get that done. For assessment, um, you're going to have your winning is not everything sportsmanship worksheet. You will also have your baseball or football field maps, the what was here before the field maps, your rules and consequences playbooks, and also your baseball or football hero worksheets. You also will have the share and compare graphic organizers. Um, and again, you want to make sure that students have completed these satisfactorily. Um, you know, that they have an understanding of baseball, about the rules, about, you know, how the game is set up, and about how the people were important to the sport. Extensions, um, so again, how, how do we talk about sportsmanship in other ways, or how do we extend this into other subjects, or how do we bring other subjects into this lesson? In math, you could have students create various word problems and solutions using baseball and football scoring scenarios. In science, you could have students poll the school about which character trait is most important in sports, and then they could um, record the data in an organized uh, format. In social studies, explore other ways that people from diverse backgrounds come together through American traditions. So you can look at other sports such as hockey, tennis, golf, um, basketball. Look at it, holidays, music, movies and television. In writing, you can have students write formal business letters to one of the major league sports teams expressing qualities of character of their favorite athlete. Or they can write formal business letters to one of the major league organizations asking to further explain some of the rules and consequences or maybe where those rules and consequences came from. In visual performing arts, you can have students learn the lyrics to traditional sports songs such as Take Me Out to the Ballpark. Sources I used for these, um, there are two stories. Um, they're both good in the Good Sports series. One is called Baseball Heroes and one is called Soldier Athletes. Um, the Baseball Heroes has a separate story about Jackie Robinson and the Soldier Athletes has a separate story about Pat Tillman. So you can use those and learn about additional heroes um, in baseball and those who are soldiers. I have some online sources that I used for this and then the images were all clip art. So that pretty much concludes our lesson on sportsmanship. So I hope you can use this in some way in your classroom.